All right. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or evening, wherever you're joining in from. This is the Chaos Africa Community Call. And um, yeah, I mean, you can actually turn on your camera or not, whatever you like to do. And just also a reminder that this meeting is on the, the Chaos Project Code of Conduct. So please keep that in mind while interacting um, here on the call. So um, welcome everybody. And um, I'm going to share the minute notes again. So please um, put in your name and let us know <laughs> One thing, so there's, there's a question for today. One thing you would always buy, regardless of the economy situation um, in your country or region, right? So, um, so yeah. Then you can also put down any um, updates or any item you would like for us to discuss um, in the meeting note as well, um, if you want. So, all right. So, um. Let's get right into it. I'm trying to scan through to see if we have any new member, uh, but um, we do not. So just going to um, skip that since we don't have any new contributor. Um, so yeah, the first thing on the agenda item is um, the open source internship program, the cohort three by Tublian. Um, for those of us that do not know, we um, Tublin is our partner. We had partnered with them sometime last year, and um, they have been doing a really great job having to like update us on what's what's happening within Tublin, right? Um, and also a, a recent update um, aside the internship now that they had is they released this. Um, is it OA to the code? It is an AI tool that you can use to um, generate um, tech tech career courses. Sorry, I'm trying to check online to see if I can attach the link there so we can all check it out. But but yeah, you can use it to generate tech, tech courses. Um, you know, you don't have to stress about um, what to say. If you just have an idea or maybe something you want to teach, you just give it a prompt and, you know, it's, it develops like a full-blown course around that that stuff for, for you. It's an amazing tool currently on the better face and um, they had shared with us that it would be nice we, um, you know, let everyone in the community know so that um, we can all try it. Um, if you would like to be invited to the beta test, I can share the link. I would have just have to, I have to look through the email trend to find that. All right. So um, to the internship program, the this is the third cohort. Um, so the first one and the second was successful, and they had some updates. You know, after they got feedback from for majorly Africans um, during the cohort. And they let us know that they've introduced live sessions um, with open source maintainers and influencers. Then also um, they expanded their pool of projects to include more options. So um, if you uh, maybe you're looking to like, maybe start contributing to more open source projects, right um contributing your skills to more open source projects um you can um to blend to blend now has that like they have more more options for you to to select from and um the last update there is that uh they this is this 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 has this has always been a part of the program where you know mentors come in to guide intent so um so the two call to action here is that if you would like to take their training, please um, go register. Um, and if you would like to volunteer as a mentor, if you would like to share your open source experience, the skills that you have, um, you can you can go sign up as a mentor to mentor interns um, that that would be onboarded into the internship program. So another thing I wanted to sorry, <laughs> another thing I wanted to confirm if, is if we can um, share this on our social media. I'm not sure if Olushi is on the call. 
but let me quickly take a look. Um, oh, she, are you here? Oh, she's not. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to reach out to her and, you know, confirm if we can share this on our social platforms because um, one of the things we um, we agreed to do as partners is, you know, um, when, when they have activities or events or we do, um, they, they can or we can share, you know, within our community, um, our communication channels, right? So, um, so I personally will be sharing this on Slack. Then I was going to confirm if we can share on social media. So I would have to check in with, with Olushi later on that. Um, so the next thing is that um, our proposal to PyCon Namibia, Oh, before I go on, does anyone have any question? I keep forgetting. Any question Hi, regarding the... regarding the... Hi, can you oh, hear yeah, me? Sure. Okay, yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. I just want to draw your attention to the chats. All she said, she's here, but she's on the road. And yes, we can share oh. on our social media platform. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gloria. Oh, she, sorry, I got confused. I mean, I didn't realize you were Ella. Sorry. Um, all right, cool. So I will just, I will forward you the details, Oloshi. Um, there is a design. Uh, I have to check the mail thread. Um, so I'll forward you, the, forward you the details so that we can share. Thank you so much. All right. Any other question? Yes, now I have a question. I'm not quite clear. You were eating... Can you hear me? Am I clear? Yeah, sure, Gloria. Okay, yeah, I, I was not quite clear on what you talked about the cause. You talked about something, a cause outline generator type thing, but I was not, I don't know, my network was bad and I'm just quite confused, like, what's happening? I don't know if you get my point. I don't know if you can talk about it again. The first thing you said, talking oh, yeah. about, I don't know if it's really a problem. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I got, I got you. Um, so yeah, that's that's a recent update from our partner to Um I said is on its um, beta phase. I'm going to link. I'm going to link the. I'm going to link it to to the uh, meeting notes so that we can all check it out if you're interested. So yeah, it's is a it's an AI tool that helps you generate course. So um, you give it some specific prompts and it generates like a full blown course around, you know, whatever it is you, uh, whatever prompt it is you've given it. So maybe, maybe generate a course on say, um, um, how to be a, um, an accessibility auditor um, or um, project manager or, um, whatever it is you wanted to to do for you, uh, I think I also did try it because I was invited to the beta, and I also was able to generate a course on community building, community management. So, yeah, it's it's really cool. Um, you can also narrow it down to the specific area of that particular career field you wanted to to generate a course on, and um, yeah, did, did I answer your question, Korea? Yes, thank you. All right, so I'm just I'm going to link. I'm going to find the link and I'm going to share the um. Okay, cool. So someone wants to say something. All right, so I'm just going to move on. So yeah, I was saying that um our proposal to PyCon Namibia got accepted and you know we are sponsoring them with um. 440 us dollars as a bronze sponsor and if you're asking oh so what what are we what do we get to benefit um from this sponsorship you can check out this proposal everything everything is like um highlighted there from um what we'll be doing the panel session to you know some other things that was highlighted there so you can just check out this document here right so any question on that mm. all right cool no question so um next would be di updates and that would be put from the accessibility group and civility team 
as well. So, um, hi, Victoria. Um, I don't know from the hi. last time we had this call. Yeah, if there's any updates. Oh, the team's end. we are still currently working on the um, accessibility auditing. I don't know if I said it in the last call or I... I don't know. I know I said it one time. I don't think it was the last call. I don't know if I was present. But we're still working on the auditing because it's going to take um some time. But the um issues are already being found out. I think we've created repos for it. I think Lam is currently working on one. Don't know if she wants to give updates. Don't know if she's here. Or Lami is currently working on an issue from the accessibility audit team. And Yuga is also working on hers. And I am working on mine. So it's not um completely done because for the for the website or the community website, after we are done auditing the web, we'll do iOS and Android. So we're still on it. We're almost done anyway. Well, we're almost done with the pages. We just have like two pages left. Um, two sorry. pages left for, yeah, for Ayan Yiga. But she's not here currently. But I think that's the update so far. And issues. We are also like, I think Yiga created issues too for the um, artists we've done. Right, so if there are new issues, she'll definitely create. And Lam is already working on one. I don't know how far she is, but I don't know if she wants to give up the on it. But I think that's all from my end. Can I can I ask a question, Victoria? Uh, the the pages you talked about is it the chaos website pages? Sorry, I didn't get that. Like you said, you're almost done with the audits for the pages. I, I wanted to confirm if yeah, the, yeah, chaos, yeah. the chaos, yeah, the chaos, yeah, the website, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, sorry. Um, let me please. You can go on. Yeah. Um, for the issue I worked on, I've worked on it for um, I was not able to. So the thing is that there's no design file for um the chaos website. So I just um. The implementations I was supposed, the changes I was supposed to do on the Figma file, if there was one, I just wrote them as comments on GitHub. So I'm expecting a response from Yiga, because she's the one on the thread. But if you can check it also, Victoria, that would be helpful. Okay, I I think I'm not so clear. So maybe after the meeting, I'll send you a DM and then you let me know where I can help. All right. And I also have a question. So um, the accessibility auditing, is this something that um, others can participate in too? Yes, definitely, sure. As long as you can, right? It's just like a designer saying, can I join the design, designers to the design or the Figma file? So if you're an accessibility auditor and you want to join, of course, because like I said in the um, meeting we had, I think just the DEI team or the accessibility team, I said um, anyone who is capable of doing it can join in. Actually, I'm even, I think we need more hands who are auditors to join in, right? But it has to be an auditor, someone who at least has an, a little bit of experience right in the auditing because when you're done auditing the people who are going to implement the <clears throat> excuse me implement the issues that have been raised will not cross check it right like what lam is doing right now the issue she's working on she's not coming back to ask me oh are you sure this is correct and all so because we trust that you're experienced in it so if you're experienced in auditing please do come join us all right thanks Mm. All right. Um, also, let me, I did not quite get your updates. Um, I heard Victoria say the same thing that you probably send an idea, but I think that's that's fine. Um, but I just wanted to, I would have loved to like update it here on the notes. Uh, maybe if you find time, you can just share 
you know, share oh. here on the note as well. Okay, yeah. maybe I'll type it, but should I like explain again? Uh, uh, okay, I think that's fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay so the, the task is to, is that some um, colors on the websites are not contrastive enough. So, for example, if a button is white and the text on the button is black or like very, very mm. close to white, that means the contrast is not enough. So I need to look for colors that have like good contrast with the white background to make the button accessible to everyone. So that change is supposed to be done directly on, on like a file where the design is, but Chaos's website yeah. is not done. Figma, it was implemented straight on WordPress. So instead yeah, of on WordPress. Yes. So I so now I just provided the values. I didn't implement the change. So the values I provided are on yeah. GitHub as a comment. Mm. I think so. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I understand now. So 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 how, how can we now solve this? Is it reaching out to I think Sean um, is like um, one of the key person we can talk to, uh, you know, in fixing this from WordPress. But I think we also need to first confirm if, if it's something we can fix from, like if there's like a plugin, right? I think that's what it's called, that can actually um, fix that. Um, maybe we can tag Sean or Elizabeth to that particular issue right on the repo, yeah. would that work? I think I was thinking it should be assigned to a developer since the person would be familiar with its code. They need to use code to change it. So, mm. yeah, I just mentioned. But, 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 okay. Yeah, sure. Go on, please. Okay. Um, Elizabeth was already is already in the comments, and I mentioned that um the next person they are signing it to, which I assume would be a developer, would be able to implement mm. it. So um, I I thought that. If um Yiga or I think Peculiar was also on the thread sees it, then they would reassign it to someone else. Mm, okay, okay, that that makes sense. For me, I'm just thinking in my head. I, I used to think um WordPress websites are not like code. Like you don't use code, you use majority like you know, it's like a drag and drop, you know, plugins kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's true. Okay. That's true, but um, oh, okay. some also work with code, and I think Chaos works with code. Mm. Okay, that, that totally makes sense. All right, um, I don't think that obviously should be on the notes. Uh, since the conversation is already going on on the repo, so um, I mean, everybody can see that there, and I'm hoping it's going to be fixed. Um, yeah. All right. So thank you so much, uh, Victoria. I, thank you, I don't know if you can see. Oh my see. God. Sorry. I actually it's cannot. Fine. I'm it's so fine. sorry. <laughs> it's fine. So I wanted All to right. say, if it is a design issue, because I think the last part that we were, we were trying to fix on the um, spreadsheet is to specify what issues are specifically design issues first or need design issues. Issues because I think there's a folder for design, UX writer, and developer. So if it's a design issue, then yes, you do need the design file. You get to if it's something that you need to change the color for, or it's something you need to change the layout structure, or something like that, or maybe the font, the the type, or whatever that is actually a design issue. You need to do that. You probably will need the design file, right, to do that then if the developer is going to change it on WordPress or anything, they'll, pro they'll probably be using your design as a prototype. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but so yes, you do need the design. I don't know if King City can help out with that. That was why I was saying we'll probably talk about it after the meeting so we don't like, spend so much time. But I feel like you do need to implement it in design as a prototype before the developer can you know, changes from your design. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think um, I would just allow um, you, Lamy, and Kingsley to just um, figure that out, right? And maybe on the next call, we can, you know, get updates from um, from you or, or, or Lamy. 
you know. All right, so we're just going to move on to the next agenda, um, which is which is on the disability team update. Uh, Victoria, I, I think you're also on that team, um, and Winifred as well. So I don't know anyone of you. Uh, I also cannot see Brian on the call, but any one of you would like to give an update if there is any on that. Winifred, please, you can help because I wasn't in the last meeting. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so I think Brian and I um, talked about like dates, picking a date for the outreach. And I think we settled on the early Q2, and that is um, April, so probably like last weekend in April. Uh, it's not confirmed yet, but that's the date we are looking at. Uh, uh, we talked about the type of people we want to reach out to. We've not settled on anything really, but we are working on the prospectus and the, the sponsorship and um, all the necessary documents that we're supposed to send out to people as well as book. So, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah, and in addition, we so have much. like um organization. Sorry, Winnie from did you want to say any other thing? Oh uh, no, no, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you. We had um an organization we wanted to collaborate with for the outreach. Project Enable, I think we talked about in one of the meetings. I don't know which one. I don't know if it's DEI or just community call, but we talked about yeah, Project yeah. Enable and we reached out to them. They actually have replied, so it's us now. We're waiting to give them feedback. So I think that's all for my end. Okay. Um, okay, thank you, um, Winifred, for that update. I don't know if I captured everything, but if I did know, you can just uh, let me know in the chat or you can just um just edit this, this the notes um yeah directly but um yeah, and also thank you victoria um i, I do have a question the, the collaboration um was the what was the goal for the collaboration is it um i don't know is it okay to share what the org like who they are they have a name so it's basically people? like a, um, a participation now let me not call it a full collaboration or partnership, okay. basically a participation, right? So the whole point of the Africhi program is to target people with disabilities. And Project Enable is a community that um provides opportunities for people with disabilities. So we want them to join, right? We want them to participate because they already have like the target audience right they are not going to be the only people joining obviously but they're like they're part of the community that we want to have join us or participate in the outreach program so that's basically what it is so that's the whole point of reaching out to them okay 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 i got you um all right so okay so you said um like they've already like replied just you know is there anything yeah, yeah, yeah. we need from yeah. our end no no, so. no 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 i'm just um i'm supposed to have a meeting with it's actually my fault i did not join the last meeting the last um yeah. um meeting with winifred and brian who probably would have talked about it then but i'm supposed to meet with brian later so that he will give me like um what we need to send to them basically like a run through summary of the information they need so they are basically waiting on us right now. So I will just reach out to Brian and we'll fix it. So it's it's not something we need much help with. It's just something I and Brian will sort will sort out. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I just I was just trying to know how maybe you know um, the chaos projects can maybe help out if it's something we need on our end. All right, thank you, uh, my friend and uh, Victoria. <laughs> Um, so the next will be the developers updates. Um, hi, Adinka. How are you doing? Do we have any updates from the desktop? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? 
Uh, okay, so just two things. Number one, um, we have resumed the developers focus group meeting. Uh, so this time around, it's going to be bi-weekly and um, it will alternate with the Chaos Africa Sync meeting. And that means that um, it will be happening next week. And then um, the next one will happen like two weeks after on Thursdays, 3 p.m. The last one we did was um, last week and we had a workshop. Enoch took us through uh, the budget API, how it was developed, uh, what's the next um, features that we need to um, had to the API, but um, okay, for the for the for the backend majorly. The next by next week, uh, we are looking to have um, the workshop on the front end, which is the badging website itself. So, if you are really interested in contributing code, um, if you're a JavaScript developer. Can we check the, the last recording to go through the budget um, website and be informed? Yeah, um, uh, the, the issues are hope on the on the GitHub repo. People have started picking yeah, yeah. up uh, issues. So if you're interested in contributing, you can check out the budget repo. Um I will I will find the link and Put it on the chat for people. What else? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I understand that the design team were working on the uh, one of the components for the badging website, which is uh, the apply for a badge form. Um, I think um, Lamy was working on it. I if, if if you'd like to give an update on that, so that we know if it is ready for development, Lamy. Yes, um, both of so it's a form for projects applying for project badging, another one for applying for events badging, and both of them are ready. I think someone is already working on one of them. The design for both of them are ready, and someone is working for implementation on them. Great, okay, thank you. Because the last time we had a discussion, um, we were told that you were working on it, so yeah, that's it for me. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Adenka. Thank you, Lami. Um, um, does anyone have any question for Adenka on this? So um, I do have a question, though. Um, Adenka, you did mention that um, Enoch worked um, the devs through, you know, new features to be implemented. Um, do you, would you mind sharing what features um, that is? Like, I think it's best to go through the recording. That was actually the whole essence of the um, oh. recording workshop. Okay. So that, um, because if I try to explain it here, it might kind of be confusing oh, okay. and all. It's best to watch the video. I think that is what this guy is. Okay, I'm just going to say. Um... Okay. Oh, yes, thank you. Um... So, so that's for developers, right? Yes. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't know. Has this bet uploaded that on the YouTube so that we can just link, link it yes. here? Yes. For... Um. Yes. Okay. Um. Is it possible to quickly go to Chaos YouTube and search the hub? I'm on my top. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I can do that. I'm just going to most likely like um, um, do that like after, um, what's it called? Like after the meeting, but I just checked the channel. I think um, Elizabeth announced it, so I just I'm copying the link from there now. I'm going to add it here. Um, um, 
I just virtually like announce when she uploads new videos. So I just checked the last one um, on 19th of February on Monday. So I, I have hyperlinked the the link to the text here. So, um, but if you can help with the budget repo so that people can also have access to that, that would be awesome. You know, okay, I'll do that right now. Here. All right, thank you. So, um, any other question? No other questions. Yes. All right, cool. So, um, the next is on the design team. Hi, Kinsley. Do we have any updates? Um, from the I design group. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, sure, absolutely. I can can. Why? What's funny? Okay, so um, for so for the design, um, a couple of guys have been working on the alpha stuff, right? So, um. So, uh, I know, you're I working on what? Sorry, can you sleep? project. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So, yes, um, though personally, I haven't really been in or around for some reasons you might understand. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, a couple of guys have been working. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of guys have been working on uh, the Air Force project. So I also recall, you know, assigning um, this touch to Mesoma, right? And then it was also creating a, a style, a, a color style, a more robust, like, color style for the project. So but she did that. And then, you know, a while back, too, we also talked about, um, maybe it might be cool to even see show my screen but to show I, I know oh i won't be able to do that because you're sharing so. okay so um i, I know the face Wait, I can... where we are right I can now stop sharing. hi Kinsley. i can stop sharing so you can did you get me oh, oh okay okay i Fine. can so. stop sharing so... okay so um for those of us that are pretty much aware with the Alphos project being um a project we worked on during the GitHub, you know, stuff. Um can you see my screen, please? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we, of course, um, doing the whole thing, of course, our first project is African, African open source. That's what it means. Kind of like highlighting different open source project in Africa. And, um, so that's what this project is about. And then we have landing page, um, which of course with the mobile view that was done. So then again, we also needed a a page where to display the project, the different um, open source projects in Africa, where you can also filter and search by, you know, category. Um, so here we have, I think, uh, yeah, Felix worked on this, you know, cool guy. And then Olola D also did this. Uh, you can see the mobile view for the project page, right? I think we have this page is ready. And of course, I also know that, you know, talked about the whole component thing, you know, as a designer, these are also several ways you can contribute to your here. So like I mentioned, um, the color style thingy. So Mesoma created this, I suppose. And then we also have yeah, a, a robust style system here for this particular project. You know, so things like this, um, while it also matters, you know, for the design working group is because whether Kingsley is the picture, is in the picture or not, Mesoma is here or not, anybody can always jump on this project and, you know, get things done. So I think the face of this project where we're still kind of like figuring out is, um, is the dashboard, right? So, um, 
So there was someone working on this. Um, I think at some point, Ololade was just doing exploration, right? Working on this. And also, um, I I think, I don't know if it was this particular project. I think um, I think I mentioned talking about um, this thing, a form, right? So I think at some point we had to, for example, going back, you know, to feature a project on the platform, um, project owners, administrators, and maintainers have to supply information about the open source project, right? And that means we need a form to take that information. But then again, this is open source. So the, the concern for sustainability comes into play where you have to need a database to, you know, hold this information and all that. So in order not to, you know, bulk, you know, the team with maybe having to pay for maybe so much space and all that to hold. So I think we actually thought of using Google Form. So where uh, maintainers can, so when you click on, um, uh, uh, let me see if I can go back to this page. So, so if you are a maintainer, a project maintainer, you click on submit project. I think this is the landing page for the project. So, so when you click on submit project stuff, you'll be redirected to um you'll be redirected to what is it called? Uh, a Google form where you supply your information, right? And then from there we would receive the information and then I think the admin can now manually review and all that, you know, on the admin dashboard. So for our first project, I think most part of the um the points where users interact with is done except for the admin part. So that's um, that's the part that is currently um, being designed, and um, and then again to the other project that is ongoing um, is that um, uh, I think that started last year. I assigned that to someone, but then again, um, he didn't really come through. So this year, I think um, two weeks ago, I had a call with someone else, uh, and that. Um, the okay, yeah. brand project for like um chaos africa like branding project so personally my idea is that since it's chaos africa right we can still explore some afrocentric you know design feel for our social media and you know communicating ourselves on social media you know in line with the great job oluchi is doing right so um that stuff is already uh, you know in motion Right, so I think that's another thing that it's ongoing for the design working group. So um, besides that, um, we were not able to have a call last week, last week um, when there was Valentine's Day. So designers didn't have their call. I believe they just had to focus on their love life or something. So hopefully next <laughs> week we're going to have a call. <laughs> <laughs> so next thing you're gonna have a call and um maybe i have more to share after that and um now my team members are leaving design working group to auditing and i'm seriously having an issue with that but then i'm gonna discuss that with you <laughs> so i i reserve my comments uh... over to you mary b <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much, Kisley, for that update. And we sorry about your team. <laughs> your team people leaving. I I mean it's the same work all day now. It's still the same team. But um it's for the It's not the same, I'm jealous. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, oh yeah, sorry. We'll, we'll figure a way, we'll figure a way out, right? Um, I know you gave a shout out to Olola Dean, Mesoma, and I, I didn't capture the other name. Um, would you mind? Um, yeah, um, Olola Dean, Mesoma, um, Felix, right? And also, okay. um, Midi. So, so one other thing you know, we're able to achieve, right, in the design working group is having. Um, leaders for each project, overseeing each project. So some of kind of like report to me and I still, you know, manage. So um, this guy, Midi, is the one overseeing the Air Force project, right? So I'm not, not sure who this one is called. Awesome. That's really cool. 
Um, thank you so much um, for this update, um, Kingsley. I'm really, really looking forward to the brand feel for Chaos Africa. Um, it sounds so interesting. And um, who's, um, whosever idea it was, yours, um, that's really, really cool. Right. And I can't wait to see all of the new designs and changes on our social platforms. So, um, yeah, any questions for Kingsley, everyone? Any question? Um, Kingsley, I think, um, I don't know if you can help with the link to the AFOS project, the repo. Um, that would be nice. Personally, I don't even know where that is located. <laughs> I've not really visited the repo. Oh. So, um, yeah. If, if okay, one, that's nice. the thing. Okay. Okay. So, um, there is a link, but and of course, um, we created a couple of issues, but you know the thing with um GitHub. I think um this year I sort of like slowed down a little bit on that because we had this issue of um, um new contributors, right? Potential contributors, right? Indicating tries right to contribute to the project on GitHub, and then and um, having on board mm -hmm. them and then joining in, that's still some stuff you need to understand, right, about the project and stuff. And also the fact that we also had, you know, like, I think um, a lot of persons joined the channel, like they got introduced, maybe heard about chaos and then joined the channel, and they were actually open to contributing. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I just decided to focus on the people that were already in the channel and, um, you know, assigning the issues to them rather than just creating it on, you know. So at, at when we have, um, um, maybe when we have more of those issues, you know, that maybe just external people can jump on, All right? For now, maybe I'll do more of that, you know, on the kit up. It's just a personal opinion though. So, but if you still want that, I, I think I will just pull that link and share with you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we could just have it there in case anyone wants to check out, you know, the project there on GitHub, what, what has been done in the past, and even for when you, you know, you're, you and the team decides to go back to GitHub, um, you know, they can also easily assess that. But, uh, yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, the last thing uh, here on the agenda is just a reminder um for those of us that do not know um chaos um the project started this thing where we um where no code contributors can actually file in their their contribution um here here on this on this repo so um you know the thing about um no code folks doing open source work, but um, there's really no way to like, you know, sometimes see the work they do. I mean, of course, outside of the people in the community, right? And for some folks, they also need those, um, that, that green, that green, um, that green points from GitHub um, and other hosting platforms. So um, the Chaos Project started this initiative and, you know, um, we try our best from time to time to to encourage um, encourage um, folks to go find in their contribution. So if you are giving your time to the Chaos Project, uh, no matter how little it is, uh, please come find in your contribution. Yes, so that um, you know everyone can also see the the amazing things you you are doing within the the community. And yeah, I think one other thing that I probably forgot to add here is that um, the chaos, the chaos board recently um, onboarded a new code of conduct team, and um, um, we are really happy to see that um, a lot of our members here in Africa are like part of the team. It's just a team of three anyway. <laughs> so it's um, Georg, um, 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 Anita, and um, Mary Blessing at the Code of Conduct team at the Chaos Project. So yeah, um, 
that's that's all. Any other thing before we call it a wrap? Mm -mm. All right, awesome. So um that will be is all Ruth? where is Ruth? <laughs> is that a question for me? <laughs> Ruth, Ruth is in the house now. <laughs> wait, wait, let me stop recording. <laughs>